Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of An Engineer's Opinion. This time, I'm going to be talking about the do-it-yourself, self-driving car that George Hotz has recently shown off. So I'm looking at the article over on The Verge, and initially this was done by Bloomberg Business Week. So what we have here is this George Hotz self-driving car, where he kind of, you know, shows everything he has it's a lot of just his face and so he's got like screens running with stuff going in the background that's really meaningless and he's just got like a joystick feeding out data because that's supposed to be impressive you can do that in middle school you can do it in elementary school that's not fancy um, so he goes through and shows these little cars here and he says okay yeah I can do this you know and then you see him driving the car as it's learning and he's using machine learning so the car is kind of adapting as he's going and then you see him let the car take over for a little bit you know and this is he says I have 10 hours of driving you know on this car and he's you know in the interstate just driving away why are you doing this you know the Google and Tesla and everybody else is doing self-driving cars has thousands of hours of driving on a closed circuit with you, their own cars, you know, controlled environment to let these cars prove that they are not dangerous before they ever bring them out to the, you know, world. And I get that, you know, it's oh, it's do it yourself. Oh, you gotta take risks or whatever. But this is not a risk you take. These are human lives that you're not endangering just yourself at this point. You're endangering everyone else. So this really needs to be considered when you start thinking about, you know, he says, oh, this is gonna happen sooner than everybody thinks this isn't going to happen that soon the amount of regulations and legislation and laws and you know validation that he needs to sell these to some Joe Schmo and have him install it in his car astronomical you know they're never going to allow this to just let somebody bolt it on without some crazy requirements and testing being done on both the installed version and on the kit version before you can just go to Walmart or Best Buy or Amazon and pick it up and bolt it on your car over a weekend and start driving, you know, start letting it drive you to work as you're making your coffee in your car. I don't know why you're making coffee in your car, but you might be. Or reading the newspaper, putting on your lipstick, makeup, whatever. But the hard part is getting the you know, proof that it's actually safe and will not cause you know harm to everyone else that's the hard part and that's where he's gonna have to sell this to some big OEM and they will do the legwork for him you know it's not gonna be himself pushing this out to it ever be legal a big company is going to have to do that for him so we'll see in five to ten years I, I wouldn't expect anything sooner than that there's you know you can't even buy the Google or Tesla car self-driving they can do a little bit, like keeping the lane, but completely autonomous. You know, it's not a thing that happens yet, and it's not a thing that's going to happen for a while. You know, we need the laws, we need the groundwork for this is what it takes. You know, this is how safe it is. This is what they'll do. So eventually, we'll see this. It'll be exciting when it happens. But until then, I'd be more worried about the teenagers on the road, and that's an engineer's opinion.